I actually have had a lot of memories with this 3DS. If you can see those like gashes and just like the paint peeling off, that was all me. I did not take very good care of this, especially since I got my new 2DS XL. This thing has kind of become a second hand, like a second class device in my house because I only really use it for modding purposes. But that's actually probably a better thing to use than a normal 3DS for reasons I'll outline in this video. I need to close my door because I live with other people. There's a lot of people who like to make noise in this house. So we all know that the 3DS houses a lot of great games like Super Mario 3D Land, Super Smash Bros for 3DS, and Mario Kart 7. But can you make this device even better? Yeah, of course you can. Today I'm going to try and convince you into modding your system through Homebrew, no matter the model. Just so you know, there might be a few things you run into after modding your system that if you do not have a new 3DS, your system may not be able to do. But it really won't be that big of a deal and there aren't that many things that the old 3DS can't do. It might just be like a little bit more power that this thing can do than the old 3DS, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. Also, don't follow any video guides. This is not a video guide to modding your 3DS and don't follow any because they frequently get outdated with software updates or firmware updates to the 3DS. Go to 3ds.hacks.guide if you really want a fully like worked through and like made sure it's working right now uh, guide because the video guides get outdated very quickly. But now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the first reason I really want you to mod this. Emulation. Now I know a lot of people don't really like emulation and I mean that's fine, but you're on the channel of some guy who has a whole playlist dedicated to emulation devices. So I don't know why you're here if you don't like emulation. This thing is a beast when it comes to emulation. Now it can't play Dolphin, can't play Wii or GameCube games, but it can play up to Nintendo 64 games, which is actually really great for a device like this. Now it can't play all of the games very well, but the fact that it can play any of them at all is actually really crazy. Having the 3DS in the back of your pocket with these emulators and the full library of games the 3DS houses is a great handheld device. And it actually makes it kind of worth it compared to the Switch, where modding the 3DS, you don't have to pay $50 for N64 games. I'm still very, not so sold on the whole $50 Switch Online thing. I haven't purchased it yet. Remove the light. This thing is the ultimate emulation device. Now, if you look on eBay, some of them may be more expensive, but a lot of them are pretty affordable. But if it is out of your price range, oh well. This thing can play PS1 games as well, which is pretty crazy. And you can even um, convert them into CIA format which is the format that 3DS games use, so you can play it directly from your home screen, which I think is pretty cool. Before I got my GPD XT Plus and my RGB 10 Max, this was actually my preferred gaming handheld device, even over the Switch, because I still had a lot of games I hadn't played on this that were actually quality games, and the emulators were just great to have fun with, and even the DS games that you can put on here that aren't even emulated, they're just played off of the system's hardware, it's great, but what I think is even better is game mods. And the first one I want to talk about is Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Luxury. Now, Welcome Luxury is a mod on Animal Crossing New Leaf that makes, basically makes the game feel more luxurious. Not like the poor man you are in the base game when you first start up the game. Changes made to the game include fish biting first try, new music, and fonts. Aside from black roses, flowers will never wilt, and stores are open 24-7. There's no closing time. I've played this game a bit. I've only played, I think, like six hours of it because my data got deleted off of this 3DS and I had to format it, but I've played a lot of it. And last year, um, after Animal Crossing New Horizons came out, I got addicted to Animal Crossing New Leaf all over again and really just had a ton of fun with it. And finding this just made me even more, love it even more. And until November 5th, I think I'll prefer this game over New Horizons because this game is a lot more than New Horizons does. But that update is coming and it should make New Horizons even more worth it. Everything you sell in the game will be worth a lot more. Like some shells will be worth like 3000 bells, even when they would be worth like at most like 900. So everything will be worth more. 
and it's overall just a more luxurious version of the game. Now I just want to highlight a game mod to New Super Mario Bros. 2 called Super Mario Bros. Next and there's a Halloween version that has like crazy hard levels. There's eight worlds and I've literally gotten past the first level. The, like that's the only one I've gotten past because the game is like ridiculously difficult. Or maybe I'm just not good at it. But if you're looking for a harder version of the game since the su new Super Mario Bros. games have been getting a little bit easier and just more stale, uh, this is a good version to go with. The last game mod I wanna talk about is C, let me make sure I'm saying this right. CTGP7, and I'm pretty sure there was a version for Mario Kart Wii, but this is a Mario Kart 7 mod that adds characters, tracks, and new customization options that you get to play around with. Now it is a, sep it is a separate CIA, so you will need your own um, Mario Kart 7 game file that this can go over. It does take a little bit to launch, but I think it's worth it considering all that it adds. On the start screen, you can press select and it brings you into a menu with different options. There's a folder for game features that lets you change things like the CC, so speed. I changed it to 175. Even though I prefer 200cc in newer games, uh, 175 feels the best in Mario Kart 7. You can add a speedometer and a backwards camera, which I really don't see the point in, but I, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's, it just adds features, which is always great. Worn items with LED, improved tricks, and improved item roulette all add to the gameplay experience in their own right. Worn items with LED will use the LED light on your 3DS and like blink different colors depending on what different like hazard is coming your way like if a squid is coming it'll blink white if a blue shell is coming it'll blink blue and that's really useful in game it just adds a bit of like flair the improved item roulette will show you the actual items that the game is skimming through to give you uh, compared to just random items that the base game will show you to give you the illusion that it's choosing a random item and improved tricks will just let you do some cool tricks based on where you are on the track like if you go on like a bump or like some weird place where you can fly off that really works well the game settings lets you change the amount of rounds in a verse versus and battle modes i really don't play them that often so i haven't tinkered around with it it just lets you change the number of rounds it doesn't really matter to me but the custom character manager is very useful because it actually lets you change the characters like it gives you a drop down menu and it lets you choose between different characters you can switch mario out for ice mario luigi out for mr l which is pretty cool and it's just fun to play around with the different characters like they got waluigi back and sonic there's sonic in this game with voice files it's obviously not voice acting but it's incredible how much detail there is in this game there's also a 3d if there's actually no 3d effect it looks like there used to be i don't know what happened to it maybe i'm just being annoying but that's really cool you can enable custom carts you do have to supply them yourself though so you just have to download them online um i haven't done it yet i really just haven't had the time but the original game had like eight cups with 32 tracks in total this game has 22 cups for a total of 88 tracks with four more cups coming in december meaning that in december there will be 104 tracks in this game that's actually insane and a lot of them are either retro tracks or like custom tracks the custom tracks are a little funny because sometimes they don't work as well like in the panning shots in the beginning of the track like how it pans around the whole like track and shows you different parts of it it sometimes goes outside of the boundary and you can kind of tell that it wasn't really made with these levels in mind but it's still really cool to have but you can check your playstations your local stats and i've played this 12 times for a total of 115 online races kind of sad not gonna lie but uh, this game is really fun so i don't care i've played these levels a lot but i won't really dwell on them for too long but if you do decide to mod your 3ds which i really highly suggest you do definitely check this mod out it's really fun the final point i want to bring up is customizations you can do to your 3ds now you can't change the UI or how the home screen looks, but you can change the themes in an app called Animoon? Whoever named that, can we talk? Because, why? I don't know how to pronounce that. 
but the app works really well and you can um, download custom splash screens and uh, themes to your 3ds directly through a QR code from your like PC or some website if you don't know what a splash screen is it's what shows up when you start up your 3ds so I currently have a Zelda one installed so when I turn on my 3ds that's what will show up and it's really cool and I also have a Kirby theme on my home screen why one I like Kirby and Kirby games he's cool and two I just think it looks nice. Why not actually? Well, if I haven't convinced you by now, I don't know what to tell you. The 3DS modding scene is crazy and I don't know what you could tell me besides the fact that you only have one 3DS and you don't want to mod it unless you have a second one like I did. That would make you not want to mod this. You have an excellent, excellent selection of 3DS games at your fingertips and a bunch of emulators and game mods. So I definitely recommend you try this out. You could always remove it, I'm pretty sure. Actually, don't hold me to that. Just be prepared, you may mess this up. Follow the hacks, 3ds.hacks.guide page uh, correctly and you should be fine. Uh, but just be prepared, to, be prepared to mess up. Well, that's been it. If you remember last week, I did say I was hopefully gonna have a device to unbox this week and show you. That would make me look like a liar for my last few videos, but um, the box hasn't arrived and it's looking like it's not gonna arrive till next week but if it arrives this weekend I will open it and put up a video this weekend so you'll get two videos in a week but if it doesn't I'll just put out a video on Wednesday and then maybe one next Saturday detailing the device stay on the lookout for that mod your 3ds it's really fun I'll see you next week bye maybe maybe later this week bye